Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to tell you one simple little trick you could use to make your portrait lifestyle images pop. I think as we advance in photography, we're taking more and more photos and we're becoming technically more proficient. We sometimes lose sight of what really would make a photo popular, meaning we're being so concerned about making sure everything's technically perfect. We lose something. There's something that we just lose. One of those things when it comes to lifestyle photography is making sure that the people that are looking at the image focus on the face and eyes of your subject. Well, quite often in lifestyle photography where you're not using any external light source, you're using existing light, um, it may be technically perfectly exposed like this image, but there's nothing there that's really drawing the viewer's attention right to your model's face. Well, one little simple thing you could do is just add light to the model's face. How do you do that in post? Well, you do it with a brush. It's really so simple. And this actually, when we were shooting film back in the day, I still shoot film occasionally, but back in the day when that's all we had, we would often overexpose our lifestyle shots by at least a stop, just to make the skin tone a little brighter because it helped kind of smooth over any imperfections, but it also just drew more attention to the face of your subject. So in Lightroom, you could do it in post. Just open up a brush, bring exposure up a little bit, and paint on their face. Now in this case here, you would paint on her neck and her arms as well. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to do her neck uh, and not her arms, but you would do her arms. And then you would adjust it so it's just a little brighter than it was. It adds a little pop to your image. There's before and there's after. It's such a simple thing, but I think if you give it a chance, I know it's technically not correct, but if you give it a chance, you'll find that it will make your lifestyle images more popular, especially to the non-photographer, the person that just is looking at the image. And really, skin tone doesn't matter. You just come in with that brush, brush on their face, their neck, wherever, their arms, wherever skin is showing, and you'll find that most often it will make that image that much more popular. Now, of course, there's no set recipe like turn exposure up to 0.83. Every image will be a little different. Your taste may be a little different. You may want some a little brighter, some a little darker. There's before and there's after. Before, after. Again, skin tone doesn't matter. Just come in and brighten up the face. And I guarantee, I guarantee, I don't offer many guarantees, but I guarantee that your images will become more popular if you do this simple, little trick. Now, if you want to see where you're painting, hit the O key on your keyboard. You'll get the overlay so you could see that you didn't miss a spot, anything like that. Also, if you went over, like I went over a little bit around his neck, hit the, hold the Alt or Option key and Alt if you have a PC option, if you have a Mac, and it will temporarily switch over to the erase brush while you hold in that Alt or Option key. And then you could come in and fix anywhere you messed up. Turn the overlay off, hit the O key again. And there's before and there's after, there's before, there's after. Technically, that's a perfect image, but add that little bit of pop to his face, that little extra brightness, that little extra, like, look this way, it's a little brighter because our, tens, our eyes will tend to look at the brightest part of a scene. It really does add a lot, and really, give it a try. And I know you're probably inclined to <laughs> to hit the thumbs down on the video because you're thinking this is ridiculous. But I, you have to trust me on this one. 
adding that little bit of extra light to their face will do a lot uh, for your subject and for the popularity of the shot. When I say popularity of the shot, I'm not necessarily th t talking about like uh, social media likes or anything like that. I'm talking about your client actually liking the image. There's before and there's after, before, after. So give it a try. Um, I know many of you probably do this, and I know many of you that are a little bit older like me and did a lot of film photography back in the day probably overexposed when you did portraiture as well because pretty much all of us did because it really did help uh, the skin tone and the skin itself just look a little better for film. So I'm sure many of you kind of do that with digital as well. So try it if you haven't. I think it's something you'll find that will help your images stand apart from other uh, people that are taking similar type shots. Thank you, everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.